Hello, and welcome to another edition of Business Automations with Ben. Today, we're going to explore the Twitter integration on Ift. If you're a small business in the year 2023, having a social media presence of some kind is considered table stakes, regardless of what industry you might be in. I'm going to show you three ways to automate your Twitter accounts on Ift. These automations are going to help you have a better relationship with your audience. They're going to save you lots of time. They can then be reallocated to focus more on core business activities. And finally, we're going to mix in some AI tools that are really going to supercharge your social media presence. So you get a new follower on Twitter. Sure, it could be an existing customer. It could also be a potential customer or a potential partner. Either way, you don't want to let that value go to waste. This next applet is going to fire every time you get a new follower on Twitter, and we're going to help you make the most of that opportunity. Trigger for this first applet, you guessed it, new follower. Create trigger. Now for the action. Let's say you want to be notified right away as soon as you get a new follower. Click add, search for SMS, click send me an SMS. And here's the default message that you can receive. Full name is now following you on Twitter. It gives you their bio description. It tells you how many followers they have, which could be super valuable and a link to their profile. So you can engage right away if you'd like to create action. If you don't want to flood your text message inbox, you could also set up a simple if notification. You could also add a task and say click up or to do list. And you could also add a new row into a Google spreadsheet. Here highlighted in yellow are the results of the Google Sheet action that we just created. As you can see, if I get a new follower, it tells me what time they followed me, it shows me their profile picture, their name, their description, their location, the number of followers they have versus the number of people they're following, a link to their profile. And I added two columns out here to the right, one telling me to reach out and I can say whether or not I've reached out yet, as well as a column for other notes. So I might say something like, this is a current customer, or I think this is a new lead that I'd like to nurture. Let's say you already have a lot of followers. And at this point in your business, you're more concerned when someone actually mentions your business product or service on Twitter and automations around that. If you want to edit any applet on it, you simply go to that applet page and in the top right, click the settings button. Here we're going to go to the if statement where it says new follower. We're going to click delete. Then we're going to click add, search again for Twitter. And this time we're going to select new mention of you, create trigger, and then simply click update. If your business is on social media, chances are both your partners and your competitors are on social media as well. This next applet can help you either monitor what your competitors are saying on social or through likes, comments, or reshares. It can help you support what your partners might be putting out there. Okay, so the trigger from this applet, of course, is coming from Twitter and it's going to be new tweet by a specific user. Here for username to watch, we're going to type in at MailChimp. At MailChimp uh, has been a long time if partner. So this is our way of supporting them. Click create trigger. And then for the action statement, we'll click add and Slack, channel, private channel, feeds. And of course you can post this wherever you want to. And the message in Twitter is, or excuse me, the message in Slack is gonna say at username. It's gonna give the text via Twitter and then a link to the tweet so that we can hop on that and give it a like, a comment or a reshare. Create action. Let's say this partner of ours tweets very often and we want something that happens a little more seldomly. So what we can do is hit the plus sign here, search for email digest add this to a weekly email digest. So here's where we're putting the time of day and the day of the week that we want that user's week worth of tweets to be sent to us. Click create action. Now let's say that this user actually doesn't tweet that often, but when they do, we really want to hop on it right away or within the next 24 hours and show some support. So we can plus sign here for Google Calendar, click create a detailed event. For start time, we'll put tomorrow at 9 a.m. For end time, we'll put tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. Where it says all day, we'll say no. And here's the default 
um, title and description and create action. Okay, so now that I've shown you how to monitor what others are doing on social media, now I'm gonna show you an automation that uses artificial intelligence to help supplement what you're putting out there for your audience. For this applet, I'm going to start at the news and information section of the IF services and scroll to find something that is relevant to my industry. Um, for this example, I'm just going to click CNN and we're gonna create something fun and spicy with the politics trigger. Now I'm gonna hit this plus sign in between my trigger and action. I'm going to select query, do the AI social creator, and I'm going to generate a social media update for a blog post, or in this case, an article. I'm gonna leave the title, platform, and content as is. For the link, I'm going to select the ingredient entry URL. And for my tone, uh, I'm going to select sarcastic. Why not? And for the language, I'm gonna leave it as the default for English, but if you wanted to do it in Spanish, you could simply write Spanish like this. Create query. Now for my action, click add, type in Twitter and select post a tweet. And this is a really important part for tweet text. You're going to delete the default, click add ingredient and hit this drop down at the top and select generate a social media update for a blog post, which is the query that we've just created. And then you're gonna hit the content button here and create action. Continue. And for the title, I'm gonna call this sarcastic political tweets. Okay, so I wanted to show you all what this could look like on Twitter. So here's a recent project that I was working on where I created 30 major league fan accounts on Twitter. This one is for the Toronto Blue Jays, the Bluebird Believers, at Bluebird underscore boys. Just want to point out some of the tweets that my applets have rendered. And these tweets add emojis, they at other people. This one down here has hashtags. This one got 109 views or impressions, which may not be super impressive to a lot of people, but I think it's really cool. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you got something to say, let us know in the comments. Also, you can click the link above for more if videos. And remember kids, don't be bitter, automate your Twitter.